Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter. And did you actually know that Unity have their very own official tune shader, which is supported across all three pipelines and is actually free to get hold of and use in your projects right now. So this one is classed as the Unity Tune Shader 3, which replaces their old version, which was built for the standard render pipeline. This is specific for people who create things in a cell shaded or anything for 3D CG based animations. And it has a whole bunch of features, including highlight colors, base colors, first and second colored shading, and you can make a load of variations and variety. There is a full page of differences between what the features are between the built-in URP and HDRP, and you can see the massive list of things that are actually available. And just to let you know, Unity do have a new sale on the Unity Asset Store, and there is a free asset that you can get hold of if you spend $25 or more, and it's the Whirlwind Magic Visual Effects, if you use the code Trick or Treat at checkout. And this promotion is available until the 11th of November. And of course, there's the free asset that's available for this week too. And I'll put all the links down in the description so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. And throw a like on this video, make sure you're subscribed because it helps me out massively. If you do want to get this, I'll put the link down below. But it's the Unity Technologies com.unity.tuneshader which you can find on GitHub. To get hold of this, you can navigate to your package manager in whichever version of Unity you have. And you can find the package manager by going window and package manager. And once you're there, in the top left, there'll be a little plus. And you can say that install package from git url and we can type in com.unity.tuneshader and once you hit install it will install the unity tune shader into your project in that tab you want to make sure that you head over to samples and install the samples that are specific to your unity version and then it does have a bunch of scenes which show different styles of this being used so what I'm going to show is a basic example of this character, which is using the shader. So you can see this is built upon the tune shader underscore main. And you can see you can find this in your shaders list and it will be called tune. From there, you can see the general shader settings. You can see that the three color and control map settings, which you need to apply to make this happen, i.e. this is built up of several different instances. So the first set are about adding the base color sort of shadowing to make it look more stylized throughout the different parts of the model. You can affect the normal map intensity and things within there. You can affect the highlights if you want to adjust what that would be on more shiny surfaces and affect the power of how that would look based on your character. You have the rim light effect and I can make this more pronounced if I make that white and I just up the scale. You can see it very highlights the edges of the material. You have particular matte cap settings emission based settings you have things for the outline of what you want to draw so and then if you want something like an outline for the character you can choose to do that and lots of flexibility within this to make a more stylized look now you can select the different types of scenes that you've got so you can see this one has an angel ring so you can see the type of edge effects and things we've got things like box projection as you can see the way that it highlights over the character as it's used with this animated sort of emissive material that fits behind. You've got hard edge materials that you can make with this cube. You've got particular emissive animations that you can use for the material. As you can see, it's all still built in that tune related shader, but it uses more emissive settings based on the different animation map that you might have used. You can even see different test shaders for how this is affected in a more authentic environment to how shaders for the highlight the lights, the tones, the shadows, and the different ways that you can test these out. And a cool one is this mirror test that you can use. So you can see this is directly reflected in the mirror and you can see how this is set up and it comes with lots of other scripts and things which are quite useful. And you can see this uses a mirror reflection script be used in other areas of your Unity projects as well. You've got one which is a specific point light test so you can see how point lights affect very specific parts of the shader. One we'd already seen which was the tune shader. A tune shader with emissive properties, so you can see how the emission affects the overall of the shader itself. A firefly effect with these point lights that move around the object. And as I said, in this package has got hundreds of different customization scripts or otherwise. So if you need a stylized example of something that you might want to use for your own games for a stylized or cell shaded look, this might be perfect for you. 
So you could check this out on GitHub. I'll put all the links down below so you can see this, check it out and use it for yourself. Do check out Unity's new sale at the moment, which will be running until the 11th of November. And if you spend over $25 on this store, you can get yourself a free visual effects asset, which is worth $25 using the code Trick or Treat. And it's the magic tornado and whirlwind of visual effects. If you want to support the channel, be sure to check out Patreon too, because it helps me out massively. And throw a like and make sure you're subscribed because that would be amazing. Big thank you to all my patrons. Big thank you to Party of 10 and Very Shooter for an amazing support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.